Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Maria and today we are going to visit Glendalough. It's a very lovely place and there are a few beautiful lakes and it's a great way to spend your day off. It's pretty gray outside and it's overcast and it was rainy, but I really hope that the weather won't be too bad. Um, it's the 15th of May, so yeah, it looks like it's very cold, but I hope that the weather will be okay. Cool, let's go, let's enjoy our walk into Glendalough. I'm going to be driving. So I have to rush and quickly get to Glendalow. I have to drive for 55 minutes to get there, but hopefully I'll be there on time, <laughs> just in case my friend should be very, very understandable. So I did not plan to go anywhere because the weather is really bad and rainy, but my friend texted me and she was like, oh, let's go for a walk. And I was so happy to get out and see her because, you know, we're finally allowed to travel and we can go everywhere nationwide, which is very, very, very cool. So yeah, I'm super happy and super excited to get out and see people. It's always great to make sure that when we go to these kind of places where there are not many shops around and a lot of nature around, it's great to make sure that we have cash, that we have some coins, because there can be situations that some places might sell you some coffee, maybe they can sell some ice cream, but they just do not accept card. So it's always great that when you go to some kind of parks to have some cash. Also, I was talking to a friend of mine, to Amir, and uh, we've been talking about the weather. <laughs> he posted a video that it's very rainy where he is right now. And he told me that, believe it or not, the weather in Dublin is so much better than the weather everywhere else in the country. So I'm really happy to, <laughs> to understand that even this weather is uh, better than, than other parts of the country. And also Amir has a YouTube channel where he talks about moving to Ireland and he helps students to move to Ireland. So if you have any kind of visa questions, if you have any kind of questions about studying in Ireland, but I would suggest subscribing to Amir's channel. He also have an Instagram page. So you might be interested into checking his channel because very many of you do ask me questions about study visa. And guys, I wanna let you know that I, I moved to Ireland um, just because I'm an EU citizen, I did not need any kind of study visa, but Amir moved with a study visa as far as I know, so he will be able to tell you more about his experience and you can watch his videos and you can understand much more about study visas. The drive to Glendalough is so beautiful. I really enjoyed everything, the nature, everything around. It was amazing, beautiful, enjoyable. So, you know, it's not only Glendalough that's beautiful, but it's the actual drive to Glendalough and the drive through mountains, through Wicklow Mountains. And I was driving on a nice road uh, that was, as far as I remember, a motorway, and the motorway is usually very easy to drive on, but after that I got onto a very narrow road, so I want to warn you to be very, very careful, especially if it's rainy, because I even seen a very small incident on the road, so make sure you are not a hero on the road, be very careful, because the roads can be very, very narrow in some places, especially in the mountains, so don't drive too fast, be very careful especially if you're a newer driver and don't have that much experience. I would really suggest, really, really insist to, that you are careful. Also, I was stuck in a very, very, very cute traffic. <laughs> yeah, it was actually very nice to see the ship on the road. And you know, this is a normal thing here in Ireland. So usually when you go somewhere, somewhere in some towns, villages, near some farms, you can see sheep on the road. And yes, this can be some traffic. So sometimes you need to wait for a little bit. You need to be very calm, uh, give the sheep time to walk and to get to their destination. So don't rush, enjoy the traffic, because I think this is one of the cutest traffics that you can ever be stuck in. <laughs> there are little ones, you see? There. Oh, they're so cute.
terms of parking, there are two parkings, lower lake and upper lake parkings. Both of them aren't free, you have to pay 4 euro for the parking. But if you go to the Glendalow Hotel parking, then it's free. And you know what? You can put the lower lake parking in your Google Maps, you drive there, but don't get into the parking, but just drive another second. So the next turn after the Lower Lake parking will be the Glendalow Hotel parking, and you can park in there, it's free, and yeah, it's a very lovely parking, you know, and there are not too many people. So if that parking is not full of people, I would suggest going in there because it's, it's free. in Glendalow there are loads of trails and everything is so beautiful and you can take loads of different trails there are different kind of arrows everything is really nicely organized but I would suggest to make sure you have very comfortable shoes because comfortable shoes are the key to a successful walk <laughs> oh my god it's so poetic so yeah but make sure you have comfortable shoes because of course you'll have to walk a lot I walked over 10,000 steps and we have to make sure that our feet are feeling very comfortable and when I was there, it was raining, unfortunately, and it wasn't that sunny, but if you get to Glendalough on a lovely sunny day, you will love it so much. So there is a museum, but it's closed at the moment, and it's raining. Oh, it's raining really, really badly. Yeah, we can if you want. Just hide under the tree as well? Yeah, yeah, if you want, Sorry. because we might be very wet. Oh. The sun is trying to come out though. Yeah. But it's definitely a very strong sun behind this. Uh. Oh, yeah, you can see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so much better. And this tree is so weird. However, if you want to, you can buy some coffee, you can buy some water or even get some food um, in Glendalow. So near the Glendalow Hotel, there is a nice bar so you can get in there and you can eat or there will definitely be some coffee vans or something. So you'll definitely not starve, you'll definitely uh, have some water or some coffee or some tea if you want to drink something. is a lovely place and I would really suggest you to go there if you have a chance to do it and again be careful while driving because I was feeling a bit not confident while I was driving especially on the very narrow roads but when I was driving on the motorway of course everything is much easier I feel much safer on the motorway versus on that narrow roads you know sometimes I'm driving with 120 kilometers per hour on the motorway and I'm feeling extremely safe but when I have to drive with like 60 kilometers per hour on a very narrow road somewhere in the countryside I don't really feel that safe you know so I'd suggest being as careful as possible and of course the views and everything is so beautiful and it's so charming so I'd really suggest visiting that place cool guys thanks a lot for watching this video I'm very happy that I spent this time with you and I hope to see you in my next video mm -hmm.